other cells. But anyway, in mammals, red blood cells have no nucleus, but white blood cells do. Platelets are not cells. They are packs, packs, packets of protein. Sorry, apparently bleh. The liquid part of animal of animal blood is called plasma. Mm. Plasma is mostly water, but it also carries red blood cells and white blood cells. Red blood cells carry oxygen to the body cells. White blood cells help fight off disease. Blood also contains platelets. These structures help clot blood and stop bleeding when you are injured. Hmm. So platelets cause you to stop bleeding. I wonder if that's what a scab is made out of platelets. Hmm. Did you know? Insects have blood too, but it's green instead of red. That's because insects, insect blood doesn't carry oxygen. Insects have tiny holes in their bodies that let oxygen in and release waste gas. Did not know that. No, I did not know. I know that they, I mean, some bugs I think have blood because I hit one in my car the other day and maybe it was a burr or something, but it was blood everywhere. And it was gross. So, do some bugs have blood? That's what I wonder. Or is this all? Like all insects have green blood. I don't know. That's a Mr. Pop Chalk question. I might just shoot that out there blood. Does, blood does one more important task. In addition to bringing oxygen to cells, it also takes waste away from cells. Just as you produce waste, poop, and need to go to the bathroom several times a day, yeeks, hopefully not that many, your cells also produce waste while they do their task. That waste needs to be removed. That's the other job of blood. Blood collects carbon dioxide gas, CO2, and other waste from cells. It takes the CO2, it takes the CO2 to your lungs. You release CO2 when you breathe out. Blood takes other wastes to your kidneys. When you go to the bathroom, you get rid of waste from your cells. I will not comment on my thought, but it does have to use the bathroom, and I think that's disgusting. In plants, the circulatory system, could you imagine a plant taking a giant dump? It'd be like, eh, gross. In plants, this, oh, but gross, you're even thinking about it. A plate, plant poop is just breathing it out. Eh. The implants, the circulatory system is made, well, I don't know, human waste is disgusting, so never mind. I'd take that back. I'd take plant gas over f people. Ugh. Implants, the circulatory system is made mostly of xylem and phylum tissues. The xylem moves water from the roots up to the leaves. Phylum moves nutrients that the leaves make to other cells. Plant, plants release waste through their leaves. Hmm. Don't eat lettuce. It's a giant poop factory. Gross. I'm thinking about that before I eat more vegetables. You should tell your parents that. I love lettuce though. So that's probably not going to work for me. This is a pig heart. It's similar in size to the shape of a human's heart. So what? In animals, the heart is like an engine that runs the circulatory system. A human heart is a powerful muscle organ about the size of your fist. An adult heart beats about 70 times a minute. It's a little faster in teens and children. Each beat moves blood along inside those vessels. Math moment. Oh, sweet jeez. If a human lives to the age of 80 and his or her heartbeat is an average of 70 beats an average of 70 times a minute, how many times will his or her heart beat through a lifetime? Hint, how many minutes are there in an hour, day, and year with 365 days? Really? I mean, 
I can only imagine your heart would be exhausted. It's just exhausting thinking about having to do a math problem like that. So, how many, because it says it's 70 in a minute, and there's 60 minutes. It's actually not that hard on a calculator. Not on a compass. A compass will not tell you the answer. So, there is 70 times an average heart rate time in a minute times the 60 minutes in an hour so 4200 beats in an hour times 24 hours in a day I'm going to write that times a day That's how many days. So times 365. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, obviously once you see that number, you know when you times it by 365, it's gonna be insane. 36,792,000 beats per year. Now, I'm just gonna say this, no wonder why people have heart attacks. Oh, that's a year! Oh, that's a, that's just a year. Three, six, seven, nine, two, one, two, three times 80. Sweet baby Ray. That's the exponents of the nines place to the, sorry. That's, so when they do the nine, when they say exponent to the nine, that means that there are the decimal, there are nine numbers in behind that first number. So two trillion or two billion nine hundred and forty three million six hundred three hundred sixty thousand beats per for eighty years. And that is not including anybody who goes running or jogging or any type of activity, because that's just average. Wow. That's insane. Just saying, it's pretty crazy. Conclusion. Organisms with many cells are complicated machines. The human body alone has trillions of cells. These cells make up hundreds of different types of tissue. The tissue combined to make dozens of organs that are part of systems that all work together. No wonder scientists and doctors often specialize in one organ or type of cell. Understand the complex systems that your body and knowing how that is your body and knowing how it works will help you enjoy a long, healthy life. Yeah, that is a, the hope that they have. Scientists study the structures inside living things to better understand how whole organisms can be their healthiest. Well, I am going to take this test with you because I'm pretty sure I'm going to rock it. I'm not going to lie. I should be a machine when it comes to this kind of stuff. It says, this is the inside living things test. What are the smallest units of life? Oh, I know it sells. They said that. I actually underlined that. That was probably way back there in the beginning of book one. I was going to go grab my book. Um, one. There it is. Literal. Which of the following statements is true? All of them. I'm just pretending I just made that up. Only plant cells have cell walls. Only Animal cells have cell walls. That's not true. Plant cells have a nucleus, but animals do not. Not true. Animal cells have a nucleus, but plant cells do not. Okay, which one of the is true? Well, this one right here, A. Good you Read the sentence. The immune system produces antibodies. What does the word antibodies mean in this system? The inner parts of a cell, masses of similar cells that perform the same function, people who do not like their bodies, that's funny. I would like to circle that because it's funny. 
but D, cells that attack pathogens in the body. D, D, D. How are body systems similar to the players on a sports team? They all look the same. They all work the same. They all move quickly. They all have muscles and bones. I'm sorry. What? Yeah. That is a bad question. But really, when you think about it, they all work together. That is the only thing. And I would like to argue that that's only in good teams and not all teams have people that work together. Which statement about blood is not true? Blood brings carbon dioxide to the cell to help remove oxygen from the body. Hmm. Yeah. Blood contains white blood cells and red blood cells. The liquid part of the blood cell is called plasma. Blood contains platelets, which helps clot blood and stop bleeding. Yeah, that's this one right here. This one is not true. Which statement about cells is correct? They are only found in plants. They are only found in animals. They do. They are different de depending on what they do, and or they are all exactly the same as one another. They are different depending on what they do. Why does it make sense to learn about the inside of humans, other animals, and plants the same? Well, because they want you to take care of yourself and understand how things work. Because all. Because they all need all of the same things to survive. Because their cells have chlorophyll and cell walls. Because plants make their own food, but animals and humans have to eat food. Because they are all living things made of cells. Sweet mother, please tell you, you know that it's D. Otherwise, it wouldn't make any sense. They're all shenanigans and not made up. No, made up, not true. The player is related to a team as an organ is related to a, what do you think? Hmm. Body system, tissue, muscle, muscle or cell? Body system. Which body system controls the m movement of blood through the body? The respiratory, the circulatory, the nervous system, or the endocrine system? Da 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 da. Which body system includes the brain and controls the senses and thinking? Breathing, the respiratory is breathing. Circulatory is your blood. We just did that one. Nervous system, hmm. And the endocrine system controls thinking and, yeah, C. Which, what is the role of the digestive system? To pump blood, to supply oxygen, to control organs, or to break down food? I'm not going to say that out loud, but it looks a lot like that one. Holy graph. Good thing you've been doing graphs. Look at that big one. Kyle, Maggie, Fred, Layla. Heart rate beats per minute, sitting, walking, running, resting. So, whose heart rate increased the most because of exercise? So, this is, so increase the most. From this one from 75 to 95, and this one went from 62 to 74. So this one went up 20, that's the most. So, and then it says, because of exercise, I'm gonna say that one, 75, which is Maggie. Number 13, whose heart rate returned to sitting to the sitting rate while resting. So whose heart rate returned to the sitting rate by while sitting? So that means they have to be the same. So 60, 68, 65, 80, 80, sorry, no, no. 65, 90, that's kind of tricky. 80, 80, oh, who's the triangle one? Fred, way to go, Fred. Whose numbers are most likely incorrect due to a mathematical mistake? Well, I am going to say that either Layla has a disability, because she could have a circulatory disability. There's a possibility there. Or maybe she just did it wrong. So she is the outlier, and that would be the star one, which is Layla. Remember, most likely, they said so, it could be there. Choose one of your favorite school activities and describe how your body systems work together during this activity. So have at it. 